Hello everyone and welcome to Sandra's Crafting Corner. This video is part of Sign Wednesday, hosted by Yanni and Diane from Deco Easy and Eileen from Crafty Leany. I will have the links to their channels as well as the link to the playlist in the description box below. The items you'll need for this DIY will be listed below in the description box as well. I would like to add here that I did have the video of me doing all of the Cricut design stuff, but those files were corrupted and there was nothing I can do. I apologize. Now on to the DIY. I started out with a 24 inch by 24 inch by 1 quarter inch square piece of wood and I will paint it with this rich black chalk paint. You're going to want to paint the whole front side and all the edges. With my Cricut, I printed out this decal as well as a few others. I will add them individually. I simply added transfer tape to the front and then peeled off the backing of the sticky back vinyl. Don't be alarmed, but I put a little bit of paper towel on the back to take the stickiness down just a touch. Now I'm going to add this to the front of my sign. You're going to want to burnish this down really well to make sure that none of the stencil parts are sticking up so it won't have any bleed through. Now I just simply remove the transfer tape and start stenciling. Using this white Adirondack chalk paint and this bouncer, I'm going to start my stenciling. Using this stencil of a mason jar, this will be the next part of the sign. Once I have it in place, I will remove the transfer tape again as well. Once I have it nicely burnished down without any wrinkles, I will take this Waverly chalk paint in agave and paint the mason jar.
Next, I will take the next stencil and place it where I want it on the sign. Then I'm going to burnish it down really well and remove the transfer tape just like the last stencil. Using the same white chalk paint as before, I'm going to stencil on this part of the stencil. I removed the stencil and all the lettering and then took this black sharpie paint pen and filled in all the letters. Take this next piece of stencil and do the exact same steps as I did before. Once again, I'm going to use the same white chalk paint as I have before. And now for the final piece, the last stencil. Once again, I will be using the white chalk paint to stencil this part of the sign in. take this chalk paint once again and mix it with the black chalk paint to get a very light gray color. Now taking a paintbrush and my ruler as a guide, I'm going to add the little shadow lines on the ribbon. I found the 
lines to be a little too stark, so I went over it with some more of the white chalk paint, just to lighten it up a little bit more. took care of some touch-ups here and there, and then the project was finished. And what do you think? Please excuse the dark marks. Those were my touch-ups that were still a little bit wet. Let me know what you think in the comments below, or simply say hi. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to check my description box to find out where you can find the Crafty Leany channel as well as Deco Easy and the playlist to this challenge to see what other creators have come up with. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. If you're not new here, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed. Would you please like, comment, and share my channel? Thank you and take care.